Following our breaking news out of the Charleston International Airport, we want to take a live listen in right now. We're being briefed on the situation. We should evacuate the airport, so we went through all our appropriate protocols. And we initiated our evacuation order as we have been planning on, do, on doing no matter what one of these situations occur. So we are following all protocols necessary and all procedures. Um, all employees were evacuated to a secure location, so the terminal is empty and safe. And uh, we are further um, working with TSA. Charleston County Sheriff's Office is on the scene with Bomb Squad, along with our Charleston County Aviation Authority Police Department. Um, and we are, we are following all procedures as, as we've laid out in the past, and uh, we're keeping everyone safe. And as we got more, we'll give you more. So. Is it possibly an explosive device? Anything's possible, Harv. I can't confirm nor deny any of that at this time. Um, but TSA um, took the package. They thought it. They thought it to be a potential threat. Potential. That's important. And they are investigating that um, as such. And, and the person who had the package. Can you give more on that? We. I cannot at this time. Are people being allowed to leave the airport? The airport is evacuated. So yes, sir. Everyone has been evacuated out of the terminal. Um, I think the, the biggest point for everyone to know is, is we're prepared. We're always prepared. We're always on go. This is the safest airport in America. And, by, and it's the healthiest, safest one in America by far. And we're, all the procedures are always in place to make sure that when these sort of things happen, that effectively and efficiently, we get everyone to safety. And that's what's done here today. And that's what it'll always be. Can you confirm that there's possibly people in the parking garage there inside the airport? I cannot confirm that. Can you say anything about what the package was? No, sir, I cannot. Uh, How is the evacuation order? Uh, people will be able to get Once back in the terminal as soon, as soon as TSA and, and, the, and local law enforcement, along with our federal partners, give us the cl all clear. Was there on a loudspeaker the order? How was it issued? Yeah, yes. there's a combination there's, of ways that we do. There's combinations of, of ways we do that. Obviously, um, we, we have a text messaging we do. We have um, the Mer Charleston County Emergency Management has the ability to push it out, along with our, um, our PA announcements that we use inside the terminal. And were aircraft also I'm sorry. In addition to, to clearing the terminal, the aircraft also went to play. No, yeah, the airlines would handle anything yeah. with regards to, to, you know, if there's an air um, airplane that is that has passengers on it, they would determine how they would. There's no one left inside the airport. So planes aren't allowed to land or take off right now? They're not. Right. Not They're right not. now. No, no, joint joint Base Charleston controls that along, and they work with TSA to, to handle that. Those runways are controlled by Joint Base Charleston. Can you confirm uh, that flights are being diverted until 2 p.m.? I, I cannot confirm okay. that. That would be up to the FAA. Okay, and as soon as we get anything else, we've got everyone um, that's there. So as soon as we get any additional information, um, we'll be able to uh, to pass that on to you all. Okay. Thank you. Come, come. Okay, just getting some more information there. Let's do a little bit of a recap. That was somebody saying that TSA took a package they thought was a potential threat. A reporter asking if it was an explosive device. A person saying they cannot confirm or deny that. They also said they could not confirm or deny if passengers were evacuated to a parking garage. But we have a picture, and you're looking at that picture right now, that shows exactly that. Passengers being moved to a parking garage. More about the situation there was, there's no timeline on when we will get the all clear about what exactly is happening and when planes can resume their flight patterns. A loudspeaker issued the warning inside of the terminal. They used a text message system. They say they are following all of the protocol, you know, to make sure that everyone stayed safe. Now, we do know that flights are at least being changed until 2 o'clock p.m. They're being diverted. They're not coming into the Charleston International Airport. We know at least one of them is being diverted to Myrtle Beach, and that is all coming from FlightAware. They're also saying that it is in reference to a security concern, and we now know, thanks to Elliot Summey, the director of the Charleston Aviation Authority, that part of what they're dealing with is TSA, you know, taking a package they thought was a potential threat. And again, a reporter asking whether or not that was an explosive device that was found, and then Summy saying he could not confirm or deny that. But at least now we know that this evacuation is happening because of a suspicious package. We'll have more live reports for you when we come back.